So President Biden asked Beijing not to provide any kind of support to Russia. Is it your intent to go ahead and give a lifeline to Vladimir Putin? On Friday, President Xi Jinping and President Biden had a, a video call. It was candid, deep, and constructive. President Xi Jinping gave uh, China's position very clear. That is, China stands for peace, opposes war. China uh, is a peace-loving country. We hate to see the situation of Ukraine come to uh, today's, you know, like this. And uh, we call for uh, immediate ceasefire, mm -hmm. and uh, we are promoting uh, peace talks, and we are sending humanitarian assistance to— Will you send money and weapons to Russia, though? Well, there's a, a disinformation about China providing military assistance to Russia. We reject that. You won't and what, do so. what China, will not. What China is doing is send foods, medicine, sleeping bags, and a baby formula, That's not weapons and ammunition to any party. And we are against the war, as I said. You know, we will do everything to disescalate mm -hmm. the crisis. Russia's foreign minister said yesterday that Moscow and Beijing will only get closer because of what's happening. Is mm -hmm. he right? Well, China and Russia has a trust relations. It was built over many years. It was built on many issues. You know, we have a, a long shared borders as long as yeah. over 4,000 kilometers. So and we have a lot of uh, common interests. Mm -hmm. And this trust relations with Russia gave us a unique position Indeed, in, that's uh, in the international efforts. That's well, exactly, peace talks, and that's know. exactly what the White House is saying, that you are in such a position of power yeah, here to pick up the phone and call Vladimir Putin. Has Xi Jinping, your president, told Vladimir Putin to stop the invasion? Do you condemn it? Actually, on the second day of uh, Russia's military operation, President Xi Jinping did talk to President Putin. Uh, was that their last Asking phone call? President Putin to think about resuming peace talks with Ukraine. And President Putin listened to it, and we have seen four rounds of peace talks uh, mm -hmm. you know, have happened. Let me continue. You know, China's trusted relations with Russia is not a liability. Actually, it's an asset in the international efforts to solve uh, the crisis in a mm -hmm. peaceful way, you know. And the China is part of the solution. It's not part of the problem. So if, if are you, you saying, though, just so we're clear, are you saying Beijing will not provide financial support to Moscow to well, prolong this war? China has normal trade, economic, financial, energy cooperation with Russia. As I said just now... So it's not changing. You're not changing your built. relationship. This is a normal, normal business between uh, two sovereign countries you mentioned based on international order, uh, mm -hmm. laws, including uh, WTO rules. And... Let's you know, talk about those international laws, because four days ago, the International Court of Justice ordered Russia to stop its military actions. Mm -hmm. China abstained from that. The vote was 13 to 2. Mm -hmm. The only country that stood next to Russia mm -hmm. was China. Well, that sounds like you are condoning and not condemning. China makes its observation and conclusion based independently, based on the merits of the matter itself. On the one hand, the United Nations we Secretary uphold, General said we uphold, that Russia invaded. Yeah, we uphold. On the one hand, China upholds the uh, UN purposes and, uh, uh, and the principles, including that 
the respect for the national sovereignty and the territorial integrity of all countries, including Ukraine. Okay. On the other hand, mm -hmm. we do see uh, the, there is a complexity in the history of uh, the, the Ukraine issue. And would you be uh, we, would we, you be we are in the opinion. Russia amassed more than 150,000 troops at China's border. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why we want well, just to, be clear, to have a China, good, you would, good you would, friendly, good neighborly relations with Russia. But you would recognize what, that's what not is, good, friendly, neighborly relations with 150,000 troops on the border of a neighboring country and then to send those troops into that country. Yeah. In those circumstances, why can't you condemn this as an invasion? Mm -hmm. Well, let's don't be naive. Condemnation. It sounds naive to say that's not an invasion. It <laughs> doesn't solve the problem. You know, I, I, I the would be country. surprised if Russia will back down by condemnation. What is well, urgently Will they back needed? down if your president is, asks Vladimir Putin to back down? Will your yeah. president ask Vladimir Putin to back we down? We have done so. They were And we will continue you. to promote peace talks and you know, urge uh, the immediate fire. And, uh, you know, condemnation, you know, only doesn't help. We need wisdom. We need wisdom. We need courage. And we need good diplomacy. Well, Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky says he would like to meet with Vladimir Putin. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Zelensky is in a bunker. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin is at a political mm -hmm. pro-war rally right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. You can't have diplomacy when it is one country, the only one country willing to mm -hmm. actually negotiate. Mm -hmm. China has good relations with Russia, has good relations with Ukraine, and the China keeps close communications with the United States and with Europe. Mm -hmm. They enable China to reach to all parties' concerns in the crisis. The so global. China's unique role, you know, mm -hmm. can help the so peaceful tell settlement how, tell me of that because uh, the crisis. I keep hearing you say that. I want to understand how China is helping. If you are not condemning, if you are not cutting off Vladimir Putin mm -hmm. from continuing this war, mm -hmm. this war that is roiling the entire mm -hmm. global economy, mm -hmm. sending food prices and energy price, mm -hmm. prices spiking, mm -hmm. China wants stability. Mm -hmm. But we Why not cut off Vladimir we, Putin? We have already made it very clear that, you know, national sovereignty and territory integrity of all countries, including Ukraine, should be respected and protected. But as I said, okay. condemnation only cannot work. What we need is good diplomacy based mm -hmm. on vision, wisdom, and the courage. And I looking ahead, the enduring approach to the security issue in Europe. I want to talk to you about one quick thing before, before we run out of time. You talked about how important the UN is and what respect you have for it. Mm -hmm. So a UN human rights panel said there are credible reports that a million Uyghurs are in a massive internment camp shrouded in secrecy. Mm -hmm. And the High Commissioner for Refugees and Human Rights will go to China soon. Will you give them unlimited access? I totally reject that. Yes, you will give There's access no or no, such you won't a, give access? such a, a, a so-called human rights violation uh, in Xinjiang. So you will against give access. Violation. So, well, we are in talks with uh, the Human Rights uh, Special Commissioner, of mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, and uh, okay. I, I, as far as I, I understand, right. there's a we agreement. Go. All right. Thank you very much, Ambassador. We'll be right back. Thank you for having me. 快来订阅通识，按旁边小铃铛给我们点赞和分享哦。如果有什么想说的，也欢迎在下面多多留言呀。